Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, I could not wait to sit down and do this video in particular because I have been searching for like the perfect cherry. Did Bath and Body Works finally give us a perfect cherry? Let's dive into it. We are going to talk about oh cherry, oh cherry. Yeah, you know where I was going with that. <laughs> yes, Oh Cherry is part of that new Luxe line. Um, scent notes are Black Cherry, Sheer Magnolia, and Tonka Bean. Well, um, this definitely is not a gourmand cherry. I would not call it a gourmand cherry, like, at all. It's definitely a very dark cherry, that has, they say magnolia, but I'm not really getting magnolia in here. I definitely pick up the tonka bean. And in my opinion, tonka bean sometimes can come across almondy. It can come across like pistachio. It can come across um, not just like tonka. This is definitely a dark, dark cherry mixed with a nutty type of a background. It's not a vibrant cherry at all. So if that's what you had your hopes up for, honey, <laughs> no. Now they are saying, the biggest thing they've been saying is that this is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, I don't have the OG Tom. However, you know your girl loves some dossier. And I do have their Oriental Cherry which is their version of Lost Cherry. I have used this quite a bit, if you can see the dent. Scent notes are cherry, almond, and cinnamon, cloves, rose, jasmine, plum, Peru balsam, tonka, bean, and vanilla. And I'm just going to have to say, does this smell like Lost Cherry? No, this, the dossier version is way closer. The dossier, in Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, you definitely get notes of like a cinnamony, clovey type of a spice note. There ain't none of that in O Cherry. It's most definitely in here. I will tell you, dossier's version is the closest to Lost Cherry that I have smelled out of all the dupes, like all of them. Yeah, there is definitely a deep richness about a complexity that is not in here. No. And I will say, too, the longevity on old girl here was shit. Uh, I did not like this whatsoever when it came to longevity. It was maybe about an hour, but I'm, like I've said before, the price tags they got on these, even if you got it on a sale, I don't care. The price tags they put on here, regular price, honey. Yeah. Yeah. The dossier version is definitely much more complex. You get that ch the cherry, the almond, cinnamon and clove. I do pick up the teeniest bit of jasmine in here and the taka bean and vanilla. There ain't nothing going on like that in here. No, it's literally like a very dark cherry with a tonka-y, almond-y type of a vibe. It's okay, in my opinion, I think the finery dupe, not another cherry, was closer to Tom Ford's than this, than this. But we have other comparisons. And one of them I could not wait to compare it to was Sweetheart Cherry. Yep, Sweetheart Cherry. She was just released this spring, which I find it very odd. They would give us two extremely similar cherry scents within like two months of each other. I find that odd. Do you find that odd? Scent notes are Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, and Whipped Vanilla. I will say this. This has more of a cherry scent in it than this does, like a brighter cherry. But we all know with this one, that bright cherry note is like pretty much dissipates pretty quickly and you're left with that beautiful pistachio. 
And I want to remind people, if you saw my review of this, it wasn't so much that I did not like this scent. It was more so the fact that I was really wanting a beautiful gourmand cherry. And seeing the notes on here, you would have thought that. But this is predominantly a pistachio scent which is not bad, but my heart was broken because I wanted a really beautiful gourmand cherry. Like, can they give us like a cherries and cream, like a real cherry vanilla, something closer to sunset glow, but not as coconut. Well, there's that coconut note is in there, but yeah, but that's what I was wanting this to be. And this definitely has detectable notes of vanilla with that pistachio. Whereas this, no, no, not even close. Another one, do y'all remember when Victoria's Secret had that Lux line that was out? Do you remember? It was like um, their elixir line. They had a bunch of them. Do you guys remember Cherry Elixir? Because I do. Yep. This was like a year or two ago that they brought these out. I want to say almost two years ago now. But scent notes are Black Cherry Liquid Amber and Quiet Mystery. I did like this one. This one is a little different, and I like this so much. In fact, the bottle definitely has been getting some usage. This one, what I love about this scent is you can definitely pick up the amber. It gives it like this deep warmth with that dark cherry, but also there's almost like a liqueur scent in here. Yes, and it's not cherry, overly cherry. Like, all those scents come together. Like, I would almost wager that there is some type, like, the slightest patchouli note in here. And I'm talking it's so faint that most people probably would not pick it up. My nose is like a freaking radar detector for certain scents, and patchouli is one of them. And I swear there is a tiny bit of deep, dark patchouli in here. But it's perfect. It is the perfect amount. This smells more complex than this. This, to me, is very basic. If you want a, a, a good cherry from Victoria's Secret, at least that's available currently, I would suggest Sweetheart Cherry over this any day of the week. Any day of the week. The very last one I want to compare it to, because I saw this on TikTok. And I had to pause for the cause. I did, I did. It made me actually wonder, because it had been a hot minute since I smelled it, but it was Black Cherry Merlot. Yep, Black Cherry Merlot. This is the version that came out just this past winter. I had gotten her. I did a full review and comparison on this one as well. Uh, but scent notes are Dark Cherries, Black Raspberry, and Merlot. There is something about Black Cherry Merlot that can be so intoxicating. I think my favorite form of this scent is their candle. That candle will smell up your entire house in the most gorgeous way. And this smells amazing. I think my biggest complaint of this one this past winter was, again, the longevity. <laughs> yeah. But I do think that this layer with the Sweetheart Cherry Body Cream would be amazing. You definitely get this really deep, dark, like, jubilee cherry. And then this raspberry note that's definitely detectable. A lot of times when they put raspberry in certain scents, you can't really pick out that raspberry note. And raspberry can be absolutely beautiful. It gives a scent just enough sweetness, but also a little bit of tartness. And it's gorgeous. But you also, too, get Merlot in here. And when I say Merlot, it's almost like this dry, you know, when you pour yourself a glass of red wine, how it has that real kind of like a dry, kind of like tickles the back of your nostrils type of a, a, a scent to that wine. That's what's in here. And it's in the far background, but it's definitely there. And I love it. Highly recommend Black Cherry Merlot. However, I would say definitely find a really good cherry lotion to layer and be prepared if you have this one to spray and spray and spray the day away okay but it is a good one and hey you're going to use the product up at least right so my final thoughts on this oh cherry i would say pass i'm sorry i i can't say to you guys oh my god this one's so good go out and get it when i really don't honestly think that it is it's okay 
but there's just nothing special about it. Like the, the dossier version I have on my hand smells so much richer and more complex than this. Yeah, this is, the one on my hand is gorgeous. This, it was just very lackluster for me. I think they could have done this better. And if they were going to do a gourmand, now would have been the time to do it with this O cherry. But they didn't. They didn't. So that's my uh, final thoughts, review, and comparison on O cherry. Did you pick up O cherry? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think. Because I've heard mixed reviews all over the board. I've been watching other uh, influencers' comments and what people are saying. And I think it's been kind of half and half. So I'm dying to know what you guys think. And uh, you all know the drill. Like comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn every single day your girl uploads. And uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.